Today on Brit Lab. Is it time you woke up to the benefits of getting enough sleep? An awful lot goes on inside your body and your brain while you're sleeping. Your brain in particular is incredibly active, processing emotions and memories. If you were to attach electrodes to your head to measure the electrical activity in your brain during sleep, which obviously I like to do on a regular basis, then you would see that during certain stages of sleep, the brain is actually more active than when you are awake, with a whole coordinated ballet of connections taking place. On an fMRI image, the different areas of the brain involved in deep sleep are really clear. What we can see in these images are memories being moved across from the short-term storage in the hippocampus into long-term storage. And that frees the hippocampus up for a batch of new memories the next day. So if you're trying to learn or revise for exams, then sleeping on it is vitally important. Now what happens towards the end of each cycle is you go through something called a REM sleep, rapid eye movement, and your eyelids flicker away like crazy. And what happens during REM sleep is your brain is busily processing your emotions, making sense of what's happened to you the previous day. The most recent recommendations are that adults should get seven to nine hours sleep a night, while teenagers should get eight to 10. But many of us regularly cut our sleep short, saying we'll catch up at the weekend. But unfortunately, that doesn't work. For our brains to lay down memories or deal with emotions, research shows we have to get that all-important sleep within 24 hours of an event. Each sleep cycle lasts for about an hour, but as you progress through the night, more and more time is spent in REM, rapid eye movement. So if you lose a vital early morning hour of sleep, then you're gonna be cutting down on REM, and that will affect not just your ability to lay down memories, but also your emotional well-being. Now, sleep isn't just important for your brain, but also for your body as well. And yet many people are chronically sleep deprived. You probably don't even know you are because you've got used to it. But being sleep deprived will affect your body in all sorts of ways. It increases your risk of heart disease, stroke and diabetes. Your body just isn't able to handle blood sugars so well. You also probably will get the munchies. You get this surge of hormones associated with hunger. The result is you become fatter and lack of sleep will also make you look older. So what can we do to try and improve the quality of the sleep we're getting? Well, physical exercise earlier in the day can help. Avoiding too much caffeine is also a good idea as it blocks the receptors for one of the chemicals in our brain that signals when we should be going to sleep. The blue light from laptops and phones affects the melatonin levels in our body, which impacts on sleep quality. And alcohol and nicotine also suppress REM sleep, so that drunken cigarette in bed probably isn't a good idea for many reasons. So poor sleep will make you uglier, fatter, rot your brain and reduce your life expectancy. If that isn't a good reason for getting a good night's sleep, I don't know what is. So uh, on that happy note, good night. Let's have that. Do please tell us your sleep stories in the comment section below. And subscribe to BritLab for weekly tips and updates.